Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I got this article that came out, and I wanted to bring it to your attention. It says cannabis companies poised to take the lead in the U.S. market, harvest health and recreation. You guys know I love it. Canopy Growth, <laughs> LeBron James, Coronos Group, and Tilray, the four big players in America. This is breaking news. InvestorIdeas.com, a leading investor news resource covering hemp and cannabis stocks, releases a snapshot looking at cannabis companies entering and potentially take the lead in the U.S. market. With the passing of the U.S. Farm Bill, as well as more and more states legalizing medical and recreational cannabis, both Canadian and U.S. companies are looking to establish themselves across multiple geographic regions in the United States. One of the largest Canadian cannabis producers, Canopy Growth Corporation on the TSX under the symbol weed, on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol CGC, wasted little time entering the U.S. marketplace earlier this month. The company was granted a license by the state of New York to process and produce hemp. Canopy Growth intends to invest between 100 million USD and 150 million USD in its New York operations, which will be capable of producing tons of hemp extract on an annual basis. How about Harvest Health and Recreation Inc., a company that I brought to you guys first and has been on fire under the symbol HARV on the Canadian Securities Exchange and HTHHF on the OTCQS Exchange, a vertically integrated public cannabis company has been pushing hard to have one of the largest footprints in America, having amassed 60, that's right, 60 licenses across the United States, Harvest applied for and won licenses in 12 states and has a track record of winning in every category, including vertical, retail cultivation, and processing licenses. The company also recently announced it has qualified for and is trading on the OTCQB best market. I love this company. Everything about it. Since day one of going public, one of our goals has been to move on to the OTCQX, which is the best exchange before you graduate to the senior exchange. Harvest is one of the fastest growing companies in one of the fastest growing industries in the world and the OTCQX will allow us to continue harnessing that momentum, said Harvest Chairman Jason Vidati. Working up the investor ladder as a cannabis company is a monumental task and we are excited to continue making strides towards becoming the biggest cannabis brand in the world. It's true the world. Other large players like Kronos Group, Kron on the NASDAQ, Kron in Toronto on the TSX are looking to gain U.S. market advantage. Kronos recently announced it has entered into a subscription agreement with Altria Group Inc. in which Altria has agreed to make an approximate $2.4 billion equity investment in Canadian funds in Kronos Group on a private placement basis in exchange for common shares in the capital of the company. Altria is the ideal partner for Kronos Group, providing the resources and expertise we need to meaningfully accelerate our strategic growth, said Kronos Group's Mike Gorenstein, Chairman, President, and Chief Executive Officer. The proceeds from Altria's investment will enable us to more quickly expand our global infrastructure and distribution footprint, while also increasing investment in R&D and brands that resonate with our consumers. Importantly, Altria shares our vision of driving long-term value through innovation, and we look forward to continuing to differentiate in this area. As one of the largest holding companies in the adult consumer product sector, Altria has decades of experience in regulatory, government affairs, compliance, product development, and brand management that we expect to leverage, particularly as new markets for cannabis open around the world. Tilray Inc., TLRY on the NASDAQ, a global pioneer in cannabis production and distribution, made a similar announcement in that they have signed a long-term revenue sharing agreement to market and distribute a portfolio of consumer cannabis products with Authentic Brands Group, an owner of a portfolio of global lifestyle and entertainment brands in jurisdictions where regulations permit. With a global 
retail footprint of over 100,000 points of sale and more than 4,500 branded freestanding stores and shops in shops, ABG's portfolio generates approximately US $9 billion in retail sales annually. That is so impressive. We are thrilled to partner with ABG, a global leader known for expertly managing and marketing an owned portfolio of iconic brands, said Brendan Kennedy, Tilray president and CEO. As we work to expand Tilray's global presence, this agreement leverages our complementary strengths and will be accredited to our shareholders as we reach new consumers across the entertainment, fashion, beauty, home, and health and wellness sectors. We look forward to working with ABG to bring unique and sought after branded cannabis products to the marketplace. This is huge news. What do you think about this news? I think this is enormous news. And guys, if you like this, please smash the like button. Comment down below. Share the video everywhere. If I win and you win, we all win. It's true. Companies like Harvest Health, HERV on the Canadian Securities Exchange, HTHHF on the OTCQX may have the upper hand with regards to the U.S. market as a vertically integrated MSO, not to mention a fully funded company with the means to expand and keep up the state-by-state -state legalization. Even against companies like Canopy Growth and Aurora, their business model is well-suited to succeed with or without federal legalization in the United States. For investors following cannabis stocks, Investor Ideas has created a stock directory of publicly traded CSE, TSX, TSXV, OTC, NASDAQ, New York Stock Exchange, ASX Marijuana slash Hemp Stocks. What do you guys think about this? Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence. Always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here in Rich TV Live. Canopy Growth, Kronos Growth, and Tilray, all huge companies. Harvest Health being grouped with them. Are they going to be the next superpower in cannabis stocks? Let me know what you think. Comment down below. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Like usual, this is your boy Rich. Bring you the winners, and we bring them to you first. I'm out. Peace.